have a major dog show coming to Louisville. Here to talk a little bit about it this morning is Debbie Hibbard. She is the show chairman with the Mid-Kentucky and Louisville Kennel Clubs. Debbie, good to see you. This sounds like this is going to be a great time. Tell me what is going on with this dog show. Oh, dogs, dogs, dogs. We have <laughs> over 4,000 dogs coming in from all over the country and outside the country. Sure. Uh, we have confirmation, which is the primary focus of the club where you think uh, people that don't know what's going on it's just like the dogs running around the ring being evaluated uh, we have obedience rally we have something called barn hunt where the dogs look for rats in t that are protected in tubes fast cat which is basically a hundred yard dash dock diving where they're diving into water um, lots of stuff going on listen I love to people watch but dog watching is a whole other thing people can actually come this is going to be at the Kentucky Exposition Center. People can come, watch all of this happen, and be entertained, basically. Sure, and not only can you walk around and watch, I mean, you can walk around into the grooming areas huh. and watch the dogs being getting, uh, watch the dogs getting ready. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, around lunchtime at noon or so, we will have an event called Meet the Breeds, where people will just bring in their dog and will into the rings, and the spectators can come in and actually talk to the different owners meet the actual breeds and learn more about specific breeds if they'd like. I love that because we have a four month old puppy um, and she's a, a you know golden maybe mixed with something I don't know but we have a lot to learn so you can go there and ask questions of some of these experts. Well yeah and the thing is that the advantage of purebred dogs that are well bred and that's what these dogs are is that every dog was bred for a purpose okay. and like with your puppy if you have a golden with background they're going to be very mouthy no matter mm -hmm. what you do because yes. that's what they, they were bred to retrieve. They're going to have high energy. They're going to be a people pleaser because they were bred to work with people, with a hunter. So there are breed characteristics that you cannot change mm. in a dog. So the more you know about that dog, the more you do the research and you so that you know what you're getting, you, you have a better idea of what the finished product is going to be and that's one of the advantages and, and you can talk to these people that have these breeds and know all about them that's really cool you're describing my cabbie girl to a t right there uh we were looking at some of the footage uh, i guess from years past the dock diving you mentioned barn hunt tell me about this event that well interesting it, um again almost all dogs of bre breeds of dogs were bred for a purpose uh, all terriers were bred to hunt vermin on the farm mm. and uh, so that's what the, uh, the barn hunt mimics they literally hunt rats that are fine I mean they're it, they're put in PVC tubes okay. and they're hidden in an area with straw and hay and stuff like that and um, the dogs love doing it it brings out their natural instinct and it's uh, another thing fun to watch they just when yeah. they find they scent and find the rat and they just scratch <laughs> that, that, that it's there and then they can't the get them because they're taken. in the tube I love it Debbie. yeah okay so listen if you want to go Thursday might be a really good day to go because it's actually free if you go on Friday or Saturday 20 bucks for a family uh, kids four and under are free sounds like a blast March 16th through the 19th by the way I don't know if y'all can see Debbie's shirt but it's fabulous. She has like 10 different dogs on her shirt. Can we show it again? Let's see. Look at that shirt. Look at that shirt. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Love that. Okay, back to you.